I know you got your black belt. Your black. When did you get your black belt? I got it uh, November 2019. Okay, so you've been a black belt, what, four years now? Is it four years? Like uh, three years, almost three years. Coming up to three years in November, inshallah. Have you got your first degree yet? Uh, I'm going to get it, inshallah, in November. Inshallah. November or December, you know, around then. Inshallah. But yeah. How does that work? Inshallah. So uh, after you get your black belts, it's every three years for the first three degrees. And then the fourth and the fifth and the sixth, it's five years. And then the seventh and the eighth and the ninth, I think it's seven, seven, seven. And then nine or ten years for the last one. Okay. So I'm not even worried about all that. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just interesting. So, you know, Gracie yeah. Baha, yeah? Like, yeah. What, because here it's, it's a bit of a cult. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I hear that. I hear that, man. Not only there, everywhere. Everywhere. Like, not in a bad way. I don't mean it in a bad way. Yeah. But I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to understand what's different about the, it, the Gracie Baha kind of system. So Gracie Baha started basically with Holtz Gracie, like the guy who used to basically train Hicks and Gracie back in the day, his cousin. The Carlos blue, the, Gracie's he's, son. He's got blue eyes. Huh? Uh, Carlos, uh, uh, Holtz Gracie, the one with the blue, uh, who only passed away in a paraglider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, guy, the one who got blue eyes, exactly. The one who was paragliding. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's yeah. him, yeah? So it was him who started it. And then Carlos Gracie Jr., took over and when he took over he wanted to he had a vision right to have like a team a school in every city and he basically got the uniform thing started everybody used to wear whatever they wanted to wear he got the uniform thing started yeah. he got the attendance card started and uh he named it gracie baja after where the place they were at called baja de tijuca right. so he called it after that right and gracie baja and then they started growing like they had some really legit competitors back in the day and they would win and like you know a lot of them would travel so Draculino the guy who is running Texas right now he traveled to Belo Horizonte and opened the school Where's and that? he has over 300 black belts maybe 200 something black Whoa. belts over there where's Belo Horizonte so, bro it's it's the fighting capital of Brazil apparently okay right so that place and then he came here and with one of his students which is my professor who was in Belo Horizonte came here afterwards he used to be in California but he moved here and he opened the school here so it's it's more like a brotherhood bro is what I feel like you know what I mean like they're all very very it's the system is a lot more uh relaxed but you also have competitors classes like black right. belts classes competitors classes and stuff like that and they have a good connection within the whole system where you run seminars for cheap for students. You know, you got world champions who travel and do their seminars. If you have a membership, you can go anywhere in the world and train for free. Oh, is like, it? Things like that. Yeah. And like if you go to a tournament in Japan, like you see somebody in a Gracie Bahagi, you're in that team, you know, like it's it's that kind of thing, you know, right, I right. feel like. Okay, yeah. cool. And do you have like, for example, you know, I know in um, Tenth Planet they have like, right. This is what you need to learn for this. This is what you have to lead. It's like uh, no. Or every school they is run different. Curriculum. Yeah, curriculum. So they have a curriculum yeah. by week. They'll tell you like you know like week one. And they'll show you the moves class A, which is three days, and then B three days, so you can get it down. And then uh, you finish that sixteen week cycle for fundamentals. And then you move on to advanced, same thing. But in advanced, they'll just tell you the topic. And then the, the black belt chooses whatever he wants to teach. And the training starts. And that's about it. Okay, so you've got like a 16-week fundamental cycle that, that, that kind of rotates throughout the year. Yeah. Okay. Always, and then, yeah. So everyone does that. So black belts, everyone. white belts, whoever yeah. it is. Right. And then you got advanced classes, which you have to be, I think, above a three stripe white belt, yeah. more like, you know, between that and a blue belt. And then you could do the advanced classes and then it's the same thing. It's just because terms, like calling terms, like reverse De La Hiva, I don't know what, like nobody's going to know that if yeah. he's a white belt, like yeah, get started. Yeah. So it so would can you, slow down the classes. Can, can you tell us, hmm? are you allowed to tell us what the fundamentals look like? Or is it like top secret? It's all the basic stuff. It's all the basic jujitsu movements, scissor sweep, you know, pendulum sweep, you know, uh, close guard and half guard, uh, <clears throat> a basic arm bar, omoplatas, 
Like it's all the basic jujitsu stuff, all right. put in like 16 week period. Right. Yeah. Very interesting. That's what we've got at Legion. So we have like a, yeah. um, a fundamentals program and then we have an advanced program. And like you guys, once you're a three stripe, stripe white belt, you can attend the advanced program. Um, and we're trying to like, we're always looking at, because we've, uh, the Legion's basically a wrestling club that yeah. had, that, that we added jujitsu, not the other way around. It's that's good though, that's good. Yeah, yeah. really cool. It's kind of unique, to be honest with you. Like, yeah. um, and at the moment, what we're trying to do, like we, we, we teach wrestling as wrestling, and we teach jiu-jitsu. And then jiu-jitsu. jiu-jitsu. So because there's no like wrestling for jiu-jitsu, that doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah? yeah so yeah, yeah. because you like you have to give that art the respect. So when I see sometimes jiu-jitsu schools teaching takedowns, like it's, sometimes you you forget that wrestling has a lot of groundwork as well. That you can actually, right. you know, back takes, front headlocks. Do you see what I'm saying? Things like this. Um yeah, yeah. even just pinning your opponent, like Having that control. top pressure, control, exactly. Control, balance, you know, yeah. all, that, all that plays a big factor. Wrestling is great, man. That's the thing, having both. Yeah. Man, we have like uh, our, uh, our, there's a black belt at our school. He's the wrestling head coach as well. This guy uh, turned jujitsu little kids into wrestling savages. And now they beat wrestling clubs at wrestling tournaments. Sick. Like, they get to state, you know, the state champs and all that. And, it's crazy what wrestling and jiu-jitsu can do when they're combined, you know? 100%, 100%. It's, it's a whole understanding of grappling. It's, it's really You become good. like a, a well-rounded... Uh, and you see all the... If, if, if you want to see what the future needs to look like, look at the, the high level. Your Gordon Ryans, your, you know, uh, all those guys. Um, even Galvao. There's a lot of wrestling involved in what they're doing, man. It's just, a, it's, it's yeah. not really... Jiu-jitsu guys tend to not talk about it as much. Do you understand? No, it, 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 I feel like right now you can't even succeed with no wrestling, with yeah. no wrestling, especially in no gi. 100%. Like, 100%. You cannot, yeah. you cannot, like, there's no way, no way you're going to just like pull guard and try to, like, yeah. you know, it's not going to work. Well, you got, you like, got those leg lock guys now, which is the anti wrestling yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> but they wrestle too. Even Craig Jones is trying to wrestle now. Yeah, yeah. I see? think like, he's bored, man. I think it's like, yeah. you know what? I want to mix it up a little bit, man. <laughs> Like that's the thing. No matter what, man, wrestling is important. Yeah, you know? Even yeah. If you yeah. guard or not, it's it's what you really gotta do. So you that's... have to learn it. So with my kids, I make sure like they learn jujitsu and wrestling. They've been doing it since they were young. I think jujitsu you can pick it up. This is no disrespect to jujitsu at all, but jujitsu you can pick it up later on. So in your teens, you yeah. can pick up jujitsu and you'll be fine. Do you understand? Yeah, like with I wrestling, agree. if if you do wrestling from a young age, like seven, six, seven. It's really going to, like, a lot of parents come to me and say, oh, what should I do first? I'm like, I think jiu-jitsu sometimes is a bit technical for kids, especially young, young kids, you know, like... Uh, and the thing is with the flexibility and the things that they do in wrestling, their body's more elastic, that's you know. That's it, that's it, it, yeah. It's better. I feel like it's better too. But I think it was, if you do both, it's really good as well. Yeah, but if you, you had know? to pick one, this is, for, for me, what I would say, I would say if do I both. If pick one, then it's basically wrestling. First, yeah, I, would, yeah. I would say the same thing. Yeah, I would definitely. Say the same if yeah. you had a choice, I would go wrestling first, let that do a couple of years, and then add jiu-jitsu on top of that. Um, 100%. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so... I agree. Both together, or wrestling first, that's the main thing. What? It's, it's, it's how you control everything, really. 100%. So. And then if you want to be a guard player later, that's fine. It's not a problem. That's your thing, isn't it? Yeah. But, but at least you have more tools in your, in your, in your armory. Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal. That's yeah. it. Exactly. Um, so talking about wrestling, bro, what's kind of your wrestling, bro? Right now, non-existent, bro. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to wrestle with Rehabilitate. life. Grappling wrestle, with life. Grappling with life. <laughs> <laughs> right now, bro, that's, that's the chapter right now. 